Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Jessie from Jessie Marie Reads and I am here to do something sort of out of my comfort zone. It's kind of unusual. Um, I have decided to start doing some vlogs and so I created a YouTube channel that will coincide with the blog. The blog will still be my main focus but um, I will be doing some videos um, just to sort of take that step. Um, I have done stacking the shelves videos previously, um, but I just kind of wanted to bring that back and really start showing you guys my face. Um, and so I thought, well, the best way to do that is to do a stacking the shelves now. So that's what we're here for today. Um, so I have just a few books that I'm going to show you. Since I did a stacking the shelves post, I've bought a bunch of books. Lots. Um, but I'm not going to show them all to you, mainly because that video would be like forever and a day long. And I just kind of want to get the ball rolling. So these are my most recent purchases. Um, I won't be doing these videos every week. I think that would get a little boring. Um, but maybe once a month or so. I don't know yet. I'm still working on a timeline. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So... The first book that I bought recently is uh, Doll Bones by Holly Black. And I bought this because, um, so I'm taking a class this semester on middle grade programs and practices because, as you may know, I'm working on my master's to teach um, life science at the seventh grade level. And in this class, she wants, it, it's perfect for me, she wants us to read a book um, that may be beneficial to our students um, in the future and then do a review on it. And this was the book that I had originally chosen. However, she has decided that it needs to be curriculum attached. I want to teach life science and so Doll Bones isn't particularly life science-y. Um, so I'm going to read this because I've wanted to since it came out, but it won't be for that class. Um, and if you don't know what it's about, it's written by Holly Black, um, and it's about these three middle schoolers, Poppy, Zach, and Alice. On the back there's little pictures of them. Um, and they are, they've been friends forever, um, and they use, they play this game of make-believe with this China doll that they have. Um, and then they reach middle school and Zach, his dad says, all right, enough with the dolls, it's time to grow up. And so it's sort of like a coming of age story, but then there's a little bit of supernatural creepy attached to it. Um, and from what I, I haven't read anything by Holly Black alone. I did recently read The Iron Trial, um, the first book in the Magisterium series, but that was with Cassandra Clare and, um, so this will be my first independent Holly Black book, and I'm pretty excited to read it. But it's going to have to wait a little while, and you'll understand why shortly. The next book that I have is Rain, Rain by Ann M. Martin. And this is a book that I bought. Um, I'm participating in a challenge on Goodreads, and each week a new shelf is called, and basically we're playing bingo. And... One of the most recent shelves that was called was Social Issues, and this falls under that category pretty well. Um, so the main character, Rose, she has, um, I believe it's obsessive compulsive disorder, um, and her obsession revolves around homonyms. So words that sound alike, but are spelled differently and have a different meaning. Um, and so it's purely based on the sound that they're, they're similar. Um, and she has a dog named Rain, which also has homonyms. Um, first the rain, such as, um, the reign of a queen, and then rain, like rain on a reindeer. So it's a fantastic homonym for her. Um, but then the dog goes missing. And, um, Rose has these, um, she has... Uh, ticks, compulsions, um, a set schedule that she has to keep to in order to keep herself sane, um, but in order to find the dog she has to break her schedule. And 
so it's sort of um, overcoming adversity and that sort of a thing. So really excited to read this. I'm hoping to pick this up pretty soon. It's really quick and the text is ginormous with big margins and whatnot. So I think this would be a pretty quick read. Um, so I'm going to try to start this soon. And then the next two books come with a little bit of um, excitement. I'm not going to go into it too far. As of today, when this video airs, um, it's the beginning of NaNoWriMo. Two days ago, on Thursday, I decided to do, NaNoMar do NaNoWriMo this year. And it's my first ever, you know. I'm, I'm not like a NaNo guru or anything. I've never written seriously, except for when I was a kid. And then I was watching BookTube and I saw Caddy Tastic's um, sort of announcement video and I was like, you know what? Now's the time, so I'm just gonna do it. And so I've had this idea for a book floating in my head for a couple years now and I have just decided I'm just gonna, we're, we're doing it. We're going for it. And so I went to Barnes & Noble on Thursday and bought two books related to writing. And the first one I'm not sure how much I'll be able to use because the book that I want to write is not the book that I'm going to write. Does that make sense? Um, and so that one is going to be Writing Fantasy and Science Fiction. Um, and it's by Orson Scott Card, Philip Athens, and Jay Lake. Um, it's put out by Reader, uh, Writer's Digest. And um, this is just a reference on how to create these worlds. Um, now, the book that I am going to write is more science fiction than I had originally imagined. Um, it's got, some, sorry, my nose is just so bad. Um, <laughs> it has some paranormal elements, um, so that it's slightly fantastical, but um, it's verging more towards science fiction. And so I think I will be able to use this under that aspect. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and this this will be a great reference. I want to write an epic fantasy. Um, that is my ultimate goal, but I think that I need to get some actual writing under my belt. I need to write what my subconscious wants to write before I can write what I want to write. Um, and so this will be of use to me in the future. Um, and then there's a whole stack of other fantasy related writing books that I wanted to pick up, but I just decided to stick with this one. Um, and so I'm really anxious to check this out and see what these masters of science fiction and fantasy have to say. So that's that one. And then the scariest part for me, there's two really scary parts about writing this book. I have a hard time with plot transitions and keeping up the excitement, and I also have a hard time with fleshing out characters. She, my main character is in my head, and I know how she is and who she is, but translating that onto paper is going to be hard for me. And so I got uh, the Writer's Guide to Character Traits, and this was also put out by Writer's Digest. Um, and so this um, includes profiles. And so I think that it will help my main character come more to life in my head and give me the words to describe her without info dumping because that's my least favorite thing in the world. Um, and so, and also subliminal characters and um, other main characters. It'll just help me flesh them out a little bit more. So that is the second book that I bought. And I've already perused that and it's... It's gonna help me a lot. I can already I can already tell that this, particularly the character guide, is gonna help me much more. And so those are all the books that I bought recently, um, within the last couple of weeks or so. I have another one that's on the way, but we'll save that for another time. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first ever video from me. I am so ecstatic that um, I'm finally able to share my face with you all. And uh, I look forward to doing more videos. Um, as far as this channel is concerned, I will probably be doing some vlog updates on my NaNoWriMo progress, but it won't be a daily thing because 
writing roughly 1600 words a day is going to be challenge enough for me, let alone taking time out to record a video. So I'll do them every now and again. But you know, you'll you'll see all that. So with that folks, I'm going to sign off and I will see you later.